let us come to that uh, react chemical reaction between non metal and oxygen so non metal generally react with uh, oxygen forms non metallic oxide and their nature is either acidic or neutral some non metal forms uh, some non metals forms uh, acidic oxide whereas some forms neutral oxide so let us see here like the carbon react with the oxygen carbon react with the oxygen forms carbon dioxide when or excess oxygen from air we take then it forms carbon dioxide at the same time when we supply limited amount of oxygen then it forms carbon monoxide so it depends on the supply of oxygen it means you have changed the condition you have changed the condition so the product also gets changed sulfur reacts with oxygen forms sulfur dioxide when sulfur dioxide is passed through oxygen in presence of catalyst v2o5 vanadium pentaoxide then it forms sulfur trioxide might have you have studied this reaction in class 9 in a bio fixation of nitrogen that nitrogen reacts with oxygen during lightning or in the lab it requires 3000 kelvin temperature then it forms nitric oxide hydrogen and oxygen when pass through the in, with the help of electric spark when the electric spark takes place between the hydrogen and oxygen then it forms water now how to come to know that whether the non metallic oxide is acidic or not so carbon dioxide when pass through the water under pressure then it forms carbonic acid now when aqueous solution of a carbonic acid is passed through the blue litmus then it turns to red litmus so it shows that the carbon dioxide is a carbon dioxide is a acidic in nature also also we can say here also non metallic oxide when react with the base on salt and water as for example naoh which is a base which is a base non metallic sodium hydroxide is a basic in nature when it is react with the carbon dioxide then it forms salt and water so with this also we can one can conclude that non metallic oxide is a non metallic oxide is a acidic in nature and the neutral one is here neutral one it means when you pass through this no no is a pass through the blue litmus there is no change no change of blue litmus takes place no change of color of blue litmus takes place water water when pure water when you pass through the blue litmus the color of blue litmus remains blue so this so the no h2o are the no h2o co are the example of a neutral oxide so now just now we have talked about that non metal has a tendency to gain electron in order to achieve the stable electronic configuration so it is one of the reason that non metal do not react with dilute acid and water when non metal one may non metal is passed through dilute acid or water non metal do not react with this dilute acid as well as water because in this there is a need to lose electron but non metal cannot lose electron so carbon when pass through dilute acid no reaction sulfur when pass through water no reaction but it reacts with 
concentrated nitric acid it reacts with concentrated acetate of water my dear student as we have already discussed uh, this concentrated acetate of water or concentrated HMO3 not only it act as a acid but it act as a strong oxidizing agent just due to its oxidizing nature due to oxidizing nature of nitric acid and sulfuric acid then it reacts with a non metal and forms this compound like a sulfur carbon reacts with concentrated nitric acid carbonic acid water and nitrogen dioxide sulfur react with a concentrated acetate of four forms sulfur dioxide and water carbon reacts with concentrated acetate of four forms sulfur dioxide carbon dioxide and water Next chemical properties of non metal reaction with the hydrogen non metal reacts with non metal reacts with hydrogen forms their corresponding covalent hydride like nitrogen reacts with the hydrogen at 750 kelvin in presence of iron catalyst and molybdenum as a promoter at 200 to 250 atmospheric pressure forms ammonia so this is a hydride of nitrogen. Ammonia is water, hydride of nitrogen. Now chlorine is passed through hydrogen, forms hydrogen chloride. This reaction takes place in the presence of diffused sunlight. Now reaction with salt solution. As you have already studied displacement reaction with the case of metal that more reactive metal displaces less reactive metal from their salt solution. Similarly, more reactive non-metal, more reactive non-metal displaces less reactive non-metal from its salt solution. As for example, when sodium bromide, aqueous solution of sodium bromide is passed through chlorine gas, then it forms aqueous solution of sodium chloride plus bromine. So it shows that that chlorine is a more reactive chlorine is a more reactive than bromine that's why chlorine displaces bromine from sodium bromide but if you reverse this reaction like if you take sodium chloride sodium chloride aqueous solution of sodium chloride and you add the pass the bromine gas bromine then no reaction takes place this so again with this we can so conclude that uh, bromine is a less reactive than as compared to chlorine so thank you have a nice day